Okay class, today we're looking at be used to and used to. These two forms look very similar, but they have different meanings. So we use used to as the base form of a verb when we want to emphasize that a habit or situation no longer exists. So he used to live in Japan, but not anymore. Now he lives in Germany. So he used to live in Japan. Now when we go to conjugate it, it's quite simple. It stays the same for each pronoun. So I used to live in Japan and you used to live in Japan and he, she, or it, and we, you, they all used to live in Japan. So the form is quite easy to do. Okay? So shifting gears, be used to and used to are not the same. If you have the be verb in front of it, suddenly the meaning is different. Okay? So it means that we are accustomed to something we're familiar with something that we do or have done very often. So for example, I am used to running every morning because I do it every day, I enjoy it, and it's a continual habit. Okay, now this is a little bit different than used to because when we conjugate this be verb, we have to change it with the subject. So you would have to say, I am used to, and you are used to, he, she, or it is or was used to. So once again we have to conjugate those verbs. Alright, so some examples here. I am used to running every morning and you are used to running every morning. Notice the be verb in front of this. That's what makes the difference between used to and be used to. Is that be verb in there. Okay? So I guess the last thing that we need to look at is how we put these things together in an affirmative statement or a question. So in an affirmative statement, such as, he is used to running every morning, okay, that's the normal form. It's a question we just switch, put is and before the subject. Is he used to running every morning? Okay, so he is accustomed to running every morning. We switch that over there. So we say, is he accustomed to running every morning? So we're just switching the subject and the verb in this case. So I don't think that's a very difficult structure to master. Alright, so again, he used to live in Japan, that's the other one without the B. Now it's a little more difficult to switch it to did he used to live in Japan plus the base form. Notice that we drop the D in, the neg in a question or in a negative. So did he used to live in Japan? something in the past. So again, be used to plus a gerund is to talk about something we're familiar with because we have done it often, but used to plus space form means to emphasize a fact or a habit or situation that no longer exists. Thank you very much and I'll see you in class.